Hi, my name is Sophie Wilmot and I work for Mott McDonald. If you're not aware of the Mott McDonald name, it might help you if I give you an idea of some of the work we do in the Cumbria area. We offer a range of engineering consultancy services in the nuclear sector, and you'll find many of our project managers and engineers down at the Sellafield site. Um, we're also in charge of geological surveying at the wind, wind farm off of the Cumbria coast. And did you know that this was actually the biggest wind farm of its kind at one point? Mott McDonald has also support, supported Cumbria Council, Council after Storm Dennis by providing project management and commercial services to help re rebuild the local towns and transport links. So now you kind of got to understand, you might not have heard of the name of Mott McDonald, but I'm sure you've probably seen some of the work that we're involved in. So my role at Mott McDonald is the Senior Early Careers Talent Acquisition Advisor, and essentially I head up the UK Apprenticeship Recruitment and School Engagement. So what I want to talk to you today about is the importance about having outside interests. Now what I'm not saying is you need to go and start doing lots of different activities outside of school but what I want you to start thinking about is everything you probably do without even realizing. You wouldn't believe the amount of times I hear people and students going I don't have any work experience or you know I don't have a part-time job so I can't apply for any things how do I get work experience but every time I probe someone on what they do outside of school, they discover and I discover that actually they've got lots of work experience without even realising it. So what I want you to ask yourself is, what do you do in the evenings? What do you do at the weekend? Um, you know, have you been supporting your elderly neighbours due to the recent COVID pandemic? Um, are you looking after your mum's friend's kids when she goes out on a Friday night? Do you play football or a team sport on a Saturday morning? All of these things are going to demonstrate that you have teamwork, leadership and organisation skills. So that's why I want you to start thinking about. So when you come to apply for a job, and that's any job, I don't mean just a specific apprenticeship role or a graduate programme, um, any job doesn't just want to see your grades and your subjects that you're taking. They want to know what skills you have and in particular which of these skills you would say are your strengths. Personally, I find my key strengths are communication and working with people. So when I was looking for a job, I knew that I wanted to be in a role that allowed me to build relationships with various clients and work within a team. So the biggest advice I'd like to give you today is really take the time to research you. What are you good at? What are your strengths? What do you want from your career? You absolutely do not need to know what that end destination looks like, but I do want you to start thinking about what you want so at least now you can take those first few steps onto your journey today.